Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we will discuss target costing. This topic is typically covered in cost accounting, managerial accounting, as well as the CPA exam. If you want to see additional lectures like this one, please visit my website farhatlectures.com. You will also find additional resources to supplement your courses or to study for the CPA exam. So when do we use target costing? Target costing is used when we are a price takers. What is a price taker? Price takers means we don't have an option. In other words, we don't set our own price. Why not? Because we are not selling a unique product. Well, it means our product is in the market that we are selling and everyone is competing on price. For example, when Apple came out with their first iPhone. Apple was a price setter, not a price taker. What do we mean by price setter? So price taker versus a price setter. Price setter mean the company, Apple could have, did not have to look for someone else to determine the, the selling price of the phone. They can set the price, why? Because their product is unique. Here we are dealing with not unique product, therefore we are price takers. If, if we're not selling something unique, then we have competition. So what happened under those circumstances? We're going to look at the selling price. We're going to look at how much revenue we can generate by the market. Well, mainly by our selling price. Then we're going to set our desired profit margin. How much profit do we want to make? So simply put, it's a simple formula that you have to be familiar with. And basically, you, you have a target price, whatever your price is, then you subtract your desired profit, how much profit you want to make, you'll get to your cost. Now you could rearrange this formula. You can say cost plus profit equal to price. It doesn't matter. So let's assume, you know, you can sell something for 300. You would like to make $30 in profit. Therefore, it should cost you to, to make $270. Now what happened if you cannot manufacture this item for 270 well if you can do so you have to accept a lower profit because you can only sell it for 30 or try to differentiate your product so this way maybe you can increase the selling price if you can or re-engineer the production process to lower the cost but basically this is what you have to do the best way to illustrate this target costing is to work a couple quick examples to see how this simple concept well it's simple once you kind of uh, uh, once you have it down Okay, market research indicate that a new product can sell well in the market at $21. So this is basically the selling price, $21. The company desire an operating profit of 20%. So remember, the selling price would include the cost and the profit. What do I mean by this? So simply put, your selling price should equal to the cost plus the profit because the selling should recover your cost and give you some profit here the selling price is $21 what we are saying that $21 should give you your cost plus your profit what, what we are saying here is your profit our our target profit should be 20% of the cost so we could replace profit by 0.2 of cost this is what our profit is 0.2 of cost well let's complete this simple algebra $21 equal to one cost plus 1.2 cost equal 1.2 cost. Now, if we want to isolate cost, well, we can say cost equal to, we're going to divide both ends, both ends by 1.2, 1.2. So we're, we, now we isolate cost, cost equal to $21 divided by 1.2. Now we can find, we can find our cost. So let's go ahead and compute this. $21 divided by 1.2, that's going to give us $17.50, $17.50. Therefore, our cost is $17.50. So our cost is $17.50. Therefore, the profit is the difference, whatever, you know, whatever the difference is. So, uh, so what is our profit? So minus 21. So our profit is $3.50. Is three, what does... Um, so sorry, I shouldn't have done this. So what does three dollars and fifty cent, three point five, represent of seventeen point five? It represents twenty percent. Therefore, it, it's exactly what we did. We wanted our profit to be twenty percent of our cost. So hopefully this make this make sense. Let's take a look at another example. 
Let's take a look at another example. Market research indicate that our headphones would sell well in the market for a price of 149. Good, so no, we know the price that we can sell it for. The company desire an operating profit of 25% of cost. So how much, what's the highest acceptable manufacturing cost would be willing to produce this product? So remember, we have $149 in total. It's gonna cover our cost and it's gonna cover our profit. Now, what do we know about this $149? We know if we take the selling price, it should equal to our cost, which is we don't know, plus it should give us 0.25 of the profit. Well, this is cost. Let, let me do cost plus profit. 149 should give us cost plus profit. 149 equal to cost plus, again, the profit is what? The profit is 0.25 of cost now 149 equal to 1.25 cost now if we divide 1.25 by both sides of the equation we're gonna get 149 divided by 1.25 1.25 let me just erase this and make it a little bit higher here so 149 divided by 1.25 equal to the cost now, again, we can do the same thing and figure out what is our cost. So our cost is 149 divided by 1.25. Our cost is $119.20. Again, the cost is 119.2. And the profit is, let's see, 119.2. I'm going to take the difference with 149. The profit is 29.80. 29.80. Simply put, what, what does that mean? It means the, so if it's going to cost us more than 119.20. So so simply put, when we manufacture those headphones, whether we are uh, incurring uh, variable costs such as you know if we if we are incurring direct material, direct labor, a variable uh, manufacturing overhead manufacturing overhead when we do this it should not per unit it, we want it to cost us no more than 119.20 this is what we're saying so so it's the cost should not should not be higher than 119.20 if it's slower it's great if it's slower if this is is let's assume this is 110 then guess what if we can sell it for 149 our profit will go up if you like this recording please like it and share it for additional recordings for managerial as well as cost accounting cpa lectures i strongly suggest you check out my website farhatlectures.com for additional resources good luck study hard and most importantly stay safe